Hi everyone, welcome to story time. My name is Mrs. Maria and this is my good friend Elizabeth. He's going to help us in our story time today. But before we get started, let's go ahead and do our opening song. Ready? Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Very good. All right, so we have a special story time today because we are talking about animals. All right, so what kind of animal is Elizabeth, can anyone tell me? She's a bear, she's a bear, a pink bear, but yes, she is still a bear. So our first book is all about animals. It is called High Five Animals, written by Ross Burrock and read with the permission of Scholastic Books. All right. It's time to high five wild style. First, high five the crocodile. Can you high five the crocodile? Yeah, good job. High five a lion, hear him growl. What sound do lions make? Roar! Can you roar like a lion? That was a good roar. High five an owl. High five. What sound do owls make? Ooh, 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 ooh. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. High five a trunk. What animal is this right here? It has a trunk and stomps his feet really loud. Hmm? An elephant. Yes, an elephant. Oh, hold your nose. High five a skunk. High five a skunk. Ooh. Ooh. That's a smelly high five. High five a shark just hanging loose. What sound would a shark make? Hmm, maybe chomp. Right, they chomp. High five both antlers. You need both hands. High five both antlers on a moose. Belly side, flipper flap, round the back polar clap. Oh, can you hand, can you do a high five behind your back? If you can, that's impressive. Let me know. <laughs> Monkeys dangling in a tree. Don't leave them hanging. Get all three. Can you high five all three monkeys? One, two, three. Good job. High five an octopus, I say. But only if you have all day. Because how many arms do and hands do octopus have? Anyone know? Let's count just to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hands, that's eight high fives. That is a lot of high fives. All right, now I need a high five too. Can you show me what to do? Can you guys all give me a high five? High five, <laughs> good job. All right, the and awesome. Before we do our next book, let's go ahead and sing a song. Uh, let's do, do you guys know the ABCs? All right, let's do the ABCs. Ready? Uh-oh. 
it. That was great. Thanks for singing with me. Okay, our next book is called You Are My Magical Unicorn. Unicorns are very special animals. This is written by Joyce Wan and read with the permission of Scholastic Books. All right. You are magical, my little one. Reach for the stars, the moon, the sun. Chase the rainbow as you may. Look at all those beautiful colors in the rainbow. Can you say them with me? Let's see, the first one is red, orange, then yellow, green, and blue. That's a beautiful rainbow. What's your favorite color? Hmm? Can you tell me your favorite color? Mine is blue. I love the color blue like the sky. Don't let fear stand in your way. Oh, look at those scary thunderclouds. Can thunderstorms be scary sometimes? Yeah, they can. Well, don't let yourself get too scared. Sparkle and dazzle wherever you go. Look at all his animal friends. There's an owl and a hedgehog and a butterfly. You're more amazing than you know. Let your wondrous light shine through. Baby, I believe in you. Because <laughs> you are special, just like a unicorn. The end. All right, we have one more story to read, and these are about my favorite animals and they're not around anymore but they used to live on the earth a long time ago and they're really big anyone have an idea what that animal is and sometimes they'd stomp and go roar and others would just eat leaves any ideas dinosaurs so we our last book is about dinosaurs it's called twinkle twinkle dinosaur Oh, read with the permission of Simon and Schuster's Children's Publishing. All right, and written by Jeffrey Burton. Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur. Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur. How I love to hear you roar. Can you guys roar like a dinosaur for me? One, two, three, roar! Ooh, those are some good roars, good job. Stomping through the tree so high as your fl friends fly through the sky. Can you fly like these dinosaurs? Quick flap, flap your wings like a flying dinosaur. Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur, with your yawning, sleepy roar. What would a sleepy roar sound like? Hmm? Roar. <sighs> Tired. Hmm. Sleepy roar. Twinkle, twinkle, come and stay with your friends who want to play. Ooh. Rumbly world volcano bright. Ooh, they're watching all, all watching the volcano, huh? It looks so pretty. Sparkling star shine in the night. Can you guys show me how to do a sparkling star? Like this maybe? It's a sparkling star in the night. Twinkle, twinkle, dinosaur. 
The day is done. It's time to snore. Can you guys show me your best dinosaur snore? <laughs> All right, that is the end. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Before we finish, let's go ahead and sing our closing song, and Elizabeth will help us with the motions for this too. All right, ready? See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Goodbye, we'll see you next time.